When you talk about note taking, your first picture is a student, a subject and linear note taking as the way out. In this method that uses notion, we will break hierarchy and boundaries when needed and replace with interactivity while retaining linear note taking elements that your brain has already been trained in. If you want to read more about smart note taking, I would highly recommend Songke Aren's book. In the book, Songke lays foundation to simplicity, referencing principles around Nicholas Luhmann's slip box method and referencing how existing ideas and their contexts can contribute to accelerate execution of new projects. And all of this without hindering the ability to add or supplement for new notes or topics. And in my recent video around building a second brain in Notion, I had used some of those principles. I spoke about how you can use a combination of a master tags database to store your tags and use the knowledge vault with the embedded text and tables to create a second brain. The thumbnail to that video is flashing on the screen now and a link is also below in the description. With bidirectional linking and tags, it does make the process more interactive. But Notion just made that experience sweeter. These principles also lay foundation to a book written by J.E. Gordon on why things don't fall down, which happens to be one of Elon Musk's most recommended reads. Inside the Notion's comments feature, one could reference a word, a block, a page to a specific comment. This feature was helpful for note taking, for clarifying context or adding a comment for revision or for referencing individuals. The thing I like about this feature is that it's completely tucked away when not needed and had that resemblance to books where you could reference a word back to the appendix. Just note here that there is no limitation to the number of comments. The comments to a specific word were highlighted in yellow and you could resolve that comment which you could retrieve later as well. To retrieve the comment or comments pertaining to that page, you needed to go line by line and look at the individual comments. This linear hierarchy was completely changed when Notion launched the new comments feature. Let's take a few examples to illustrate. Assume you're writing a blog post where you want to lay emphasis of a particular word to a few things. For example, why is that word so important to you? That is, what is the context? And if there is a website reference for the same, you mention it inside the comment. Using that feature in a column in a database does not give you the hidden aspect like what a comment does. Whereas if you link the block where the comment is back to the column of the database, you get access to all the links in the comment. The difference is that you can have access to multiple links as references. And if you put the note at the bottom of the table, you can link that block from any page. Now let's spice this up a little. Let's say you have a video that's not on YouTube that you want to embed inside that comment. You can do that now. This is particularly useful when you are writing out a user guide or a reference paper where you want to add voice notes, videos or explanations or setting some context or add an interview or something else. What's interesting is that you don't need to be restricted to that very small window. For example, you can view a video on a full screen with a browser like this. You can also add a spreadsheet like an Excel, a Word document to add things in. And above all this, you use a bi-directional link to go anywhere to see a database or a detailed page and come right back to this page. If you work by yourself, you can link a date for a reminder. If you work in teams, this feature becomes extraordinarily powerful with different team members being able to contribute. Now you can click on the new comments icon on the top bar and look at all of your comments for that page, the block or the word, as the case may be. You can also navigate straight to the comment by clicking on the individual who left that comment. Going by Sonke's principles of simplicity, using Nicholas's slip box method and keeping structure using Gordon's thoughts, you have now created a really powerful integrated system that's limited only by your imagination. So what do you think about the new Notion comments feature? If you're not yet part of this community, 
do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like this video, do consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.